If you've been following the news, you've undoubtedly seen that nearly every economist, pundit, and millionaire has cautioned us about the impending financial crisis. From mega short investor Michael Burry, who is betting $1.6 billion that the stock market will crash, to world class real estate tycoon Barry Sternlicht, who believes we are about to be hit by an economic hurricane, to Warren Buffett and Chai Munger, who discussed the speculation in the housing market. The fact that 70% of Americans believe there will be a recession is not shocking. We appear to be in danger of experiencing an economic meltdown. Recessions are nothing new, as you can see if you open the Wikipedia page listing the number of recessions in US history. Although they may sound like a disaster, they are a crucial component of our economic cycle. It is typical for the economy to grow to a certain point before gradually contracting. However, if you listen carefully, you'll find that recessions were far more common in the past, prior to the Fed's founding. The economy would peak after two to three years of growth, then begin to decline until it began to expand again. Six, seven, or even eight years of economic expansion have become considerably more regular since the central bank's manipulations. Since we have just had a recession, it appears that we have reached the height of utilizing the Fed strategy to prevent recessions, unless we are able to break the record of 10 years and eight months of economic expansion. That being said, how can you get ready for the next downturn? What advantages may the impending crisis offer us? And how do you ensure that your finances emerge from the next recession in a far better shape? Please rate this video with a thumbs up and let's get started as we will address all of these issues and many more. 1. Never abandon the cash when tough times hit. Cash is comparable to a safety net. People often get enthused about investing in things like digital art and cryptocurrencies when things are going well. However, even the wealthiest people begin liquidating their investments and hoarding cash when there's even the slightest sign of a downturn in the economy. Take the case of Warren Buffett. Though not particularly showy, he is clever. He hoards a lot of money, holding it until the right moment. How thus can one get ready for a recession? Begin by reducing wasteful expenditure. Over time, even seemingly insignificant costs, such as a daily cup of coffee or new sneakers, can mount up. Plus, with inflation driving up prices, every dollar you save might make a big difference. The supply chain is experiencing some problems as well, which drives up costs. Sorting that out could take some time, a year or longer. Thus, one thing to keep in mind if you want to be prepared for the next difficult financial period is to save money. It is your closest companion. Remember, it's not about being a financial whiz when times are bad. It's all about managing your finances wisely. You have control over your financial stability, even in unpredictable times. 2. Invest in liquid businesses. Many businesses suffer during hard financial times, and some may even go out of business. Recall that workers have their own families and bills to pay. Therefore, it's difficult for firms to run without funding. Consider the severe financial crisis of 2008. Back then, even large corporations like General Motors, Chrysler, and AIG were in danger of going bankrupt and need assistance from larger, more established businesses or the government. Therefore, choosing companies with surplus capital is a wise choice when making financial investments. It functions similarly to having savings set aside for difficult times. For instance, even in times of price increases, corporations such as Apple and Microsoft consistently maintain substantial cash reserves. Rather than take the chance of running out of money during a recession, they would prefer to see some of their money gradually lose value due to rising prices. One can ascertain a company's financial status by examining its financial reports, particularly the balance sheet. In this manner, you can determine whether they have sufficient funds to weather difficult times. Just remember that not every business will be as flush with cash as household firms like Apple are. 3. Recession is an opportunity. Though this may appear to be the worst time of year to launch a business, the truth is frequently very different. It is difficult to compete with large, well-established enterprises during prosperous economic times. But startups really come into their own when times are hard and those large corporations become mired in their own issues. Consider WhatsApp as an example. It all began in the midst of the economic crisis in 2009. A few years later, Facebook paid an astounding $19 billion to purchase it. It's worth even more now that there are over 2 billion users. Uber is yet another prosperous company. It started in 2009 as well, and even though it hasn't turned a profit yet, its current valuation is close to $50 billion. Numerous other instances exist, such as Slackware, Venmo, Pinterest, and of course, Bitcoin. An individual by the name of Satoshi Nakamoto was inspired by the 2008 financial crisis to create Bitcoin. 
which launched a whole industry on Kickstarter and made many people into millionaires and billionaires. Consider digital currency marketplaces such as Gemini, Binance, and Coinbase. Even Tesla, which was on the verge of going out of business during the crisis, not only survived but rose to prominence in the auto industry. As other automakers were having difficulty, Tesla remained resilient. However, it goes beyond simply launching a company. When times are hard, it's also a fantastic moment to advance your career. You can advance more quickly in your career by taking initiative at work. Just take a look at how many junior managers were elevated during the most recent crisis. 4. Don't cash out. Being patient is simple when everything is expanding. If you bought Bitcoin before its meteoric climb at $11,000, you have seen firsthand how quickly your assets have increased in value. The truth is that in a bear market, the exact reverse occurs. Many individuals lose patience and give up, believing that the end of the world is near. You don't need that money if the end of the world is near. All humor aside, the stock market has weathered numerous recessions, two world wars, the Great Depression, and the wars in Vietnam and Iraq. The investors who really made money were the ones who either held onto their investments until the crisis passed and stocks started to rise again during the expansion phase, or they sold before everything crumbled, which is nearly difficult because timing the market is not as simple as it may seem. 5. Take advantage of the gig economy during a recession. Conventional job markets can present difficulties. Nonetheless, the gig economy, which is defined by temporary employment or freelance labor, frequently prospers. By putting your abilities and services up online, you may capitalize on this expanding trend. There is a need for independent contractors whether you are a writer, graphic designer, web developer, or possess skills in other areas. You don't have to be an authority on these topics, by the way. If you're serious about making money online, you might begin charging less for the service and gradually raise it. Recall that skills are immune to recessions. Remember that no matter what, businesses and individuals are always looking for affordable on-demand solutions. This lets you make money and diversifies your sources of income, which is important in recessionary times. You may use your abilities to create a recession-proof source of income while retaining your flexibility and adaptability in a labor environment that is constantly changing by embracing the gig economy. Investigate freelance marketplaces like Fiverr and Upwork to quickly locate openings. 6. Don't go into debt. You will suffer if you haven't made the necessary preparations for a recession. When they are unable to meet their fundamental necessities, many people end up in debt. Additionally, the Fed would hike rates to slow down the bubble if a recession resulted from inflation or a financial bubble, as is the case right now. This means that debt will be expensive during these times. When the housing bubble burst in 2007, the Fed hiked interest rates to 5.25%. Just think of the prices for customers like me and you. In the year 2000, rates were increased by the Fed to 6.5% during the dot-com boom. Because the impoverished sometimes find it difficult to save money, recessions tend to make the rich richer and the poor poorer. Because of this, during recessions, they may need to borrow money to put food on the table, whilst the wealthy do not and can use their extra money to take advantage of the situation. 7. Consider precious metals. Consider investing in precious metals like gold and silver when times are bad. These metals typically maintain their value. Investing in real gold or silver goods or associated investment choices, such as mining company stocks or exchange-traded funds, ETFs, can help you weather difficult times in other areas of your portfolio. They have intrinsic value, which is why they are appealing in trying times. For instance, gold is valued by nature since it is rare and requires work to mine. Unlike some other investments, it is not dependent on fluctuations in the economy. These metals are seen by many as secure means of storing cash. Many people resort to gold and silver as a safe haven for their riches when conventional assets appear unreliable. These metals also have a universal appeal. They are an excellent option during a global economic slump because they are not reliant on the state of the economy of any one nation. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more weekly investment tips. Leave a comment below. Happy investing hour.